What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Leah Love. Y'all, before we even get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video. But if you did click on this video and you realize that it is not for you, for you, you're more than welcome to click off the video. Y'all, I know what you're saying. It's hot. I got on long sleeves. I got a closet full of clothes and didn't know what to put on. But I've been feeling neutral today. I've been feeling fine. But I still got on shorts. <laughs> yeah, I still got on shorts. But um, if you're watching this video right now in this, uh, this very moment, I want everybody to stop, say a prayer. Thank the Lord for waking us up this morning. Because if it wasn't for him, we would not be here this morning. A lot of people take those things for granted. And I'm here to tell you that I am forever grateful. I am blessed and I am truly thankful. And every time I hop in my car and I attempt to do Postmates and I do all the things that God allows me to do, I say a prayer. I thank him for the things that I have now because there are people that actually dying to be in the situation that I'm in and I'm actually just dying to be out of this situation that I am in. So I just sit here and I just be grateful and thankful. Yo, I don't have my coffee this morning, so I'm not as turned up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, you know what I'm saying? But um, if you clicked on this video, thank you. You already know I'm doing this intro outside. So you already know that it's gonna be some cooking after this two minute mark. So like, comment, subscribe, and let's get this. Oh, y'all, 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 y'all. Thank y'all for a thousand subscribers. Wait, wait, wait. Y'all be coming through for the one time, for the one time. Who, who? Thank y'all so much for a thousand subscribers, y'all. Um, I wanted to say uh, thank y'all in a different way, but I've been having videos going back to back, rolling, filming, recording, all that kind of stuff, y'all. So I gotta stop right now. And thank y'all for the 1,000 subscribers right now at this very moment. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. If you subscribe and you don't, you know, you don't watch me like that, still, thank you. For everybody that just subscribes to my channel. I just noticed that I was talking the whole time during that man with the, with the lawnmower. So I hope y'all didn't hear that, but thank y'all so much. I am truly blessed and thankful and grateful. Thank y'all. Now let's get started. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? It's Cooking with Tilt Baby. Yes, and I'm right here for to do these uh, Korean rib riblets for my niece, baby. We coming at you full force today, yes. We got us some of these, uh, y'all know the little riblets that cut off the, uh, the ribs. They already washed and cleaned, y'all. So I'm gonna do a quick Korean style on these and pop them in the oven for my baby for this Labor Day. Boom, this is what it's gonna get you. So, starting this off, again, I already got these washed and clean. So I'm gonna put them in this bowl here because we're gonna get the quick marinade on it. I got my little flat iron grill skillet over here heating up. Yes, ma'am, yes. So, y'all see these lips popping? <laughs> okay, let me start climbing. So, first I'm gonna add a little bit of mirin to my um, meat. It's like a quick marinade for the season two to make them real, real good. So, we're gonna put a little mirin on it. And like I say, this is my version of my Korean rib tips, okay? And again, I can only tell you the season to your own taste. Marinades, you know, you can go a little over and beyond a little bit. It don't matter. A little soy sauce. And this just help them get seasoned and tender. We also got some gochujang sauce we're going to put on here. And this is a little sweet and spicy. It's a good marinade for this uh, type of dish. Korean style rib ribbons, okay? So... When I say it's gonna be something good, it's gonna be that fire, baby, yes! Y'all know I do anything for my baby. So, 
We just put a little bit in now. Y'all see, we're just making a marinade on it. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder for my seasoning. And y'all know this is a Korean inspired dish for me, but I'm going to still put my toners in it, y'all. I'm going to still add a little toners in here. Because it wouldn't be cooking with tip if I don't. A little black pepper. Some Korean style barbecue ribless is what we doing. Yes, baby. I'm going to also put just a tad bit of cumin because with red meat, I like my cumin. Okay? And a little bit of paprika. Why? I just feel like all of it go well. I like smoked paprika, but I'm gonna put paprika. So this is a cooking with tip twist on her Korean style riblets, okay? So that's all the seasoning. We're gonna get off the hill and um, put it together. And then again, like I said, we're gonna throw them off in this grill thing and finish them off in the oven. So let me just, we gotta get this going. So again, we put that go to Jane sauce in it, some mirror, some soy sauce, Garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, paprika, and some uh, Tony's, baby, the Tony's, yes. I know it's Korean, but I gotta use my Tony's seasoning in everything I do. I'm sorry, I just have to, yes. So we got that quick marinade on now. Let that pot finish heating up, and we are gonna start these off and show you what we are working with, baby, baby. Y'all keep liking and subscribing to Leah Love, baby. She done hit that thousand dollar thousand mark. So we need to go make another thousand in the next month of her subscribers. So y'all keep liking, commenting, and subscribing. Tell a friend and tell a friend. Keep support supporting Leah Love, y'all. Okay, y'all. So we got this meat. We got the seasoning on it. Like I said, I was uh heating up my little grill skillet thing in here. So now we're finna put this meat off the here and get it cracked. Y'all hear that? Yes, baby. Hey, y'all. Hey, you better talk to your people, girl. She filming. She can't talk, but she filming. Now we're going to let these hang out and then we're going to flip them on each side, y'all. And we'll be back with y'all with the Korean, Korean style rib, riblets. So they ain't rib tips, but they ain't ribs. They ribbons. The kind they cut off the top part. Yeah, y'all know it still be good on them bones, baby. Yes! But let me hold this and wash my hands real quick. And I'm going to let me love holler at y'all a little bit while we're cooking that on that one side right there. Or oh, also, when we done with this, y'all, y'all better check out my page, Cooking with Tilt, because I got something coming. They wanted to know uh, what I had for the holidays coming up. So I decided to do a stuffed pork roast. I'm also got my sister cooking, uh, Chef Lily cooking in the hood, going to be featuring on my page. I'm going to do my version of what I wanted stuffed in my pork roast, and she's going to uh, stuff a, the other end with her version of what she wanted stuffed in the pork roast. So y'all need to check out Cooking with Tilt because that video will be dropping tonight too along with the Korean style ribs, riblets for uh, Leah Love, y'all. Y'all know we keep it in the family. We do this, baby. We do this. Yes. Boom. All right, y'all. So I am really just taking the stem off this kale for the next video. <laughs> Side video. Just want to call these beauties that's cooking with tip in the back. I sure am, and I'm cutting up the collards to meet you. That kale she picking. Cutting up them collard greens, y'all. This is it's really. Labor day, y'all. Labor day. <laughs> y'all, this I is. I got her working. I know, right? Why? She got me working. Because I'm working. Y'all, she got me working 
on top of working. Y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all don't, y'all don't feel me. How y'all been doing? But you better hurry up. I gotta put these uh, ribbons. This, this kitchen feel like it's gonna choke me. Y'all see it. Y'all look at that. Y'all see it. And what we're gonna do is cook them a little bit on top of the stove. And then I'm gonna put the rest in the oven so they can continue to cook and get tender for you, y'all. Okay? Y'all see that? That's what I want to show y'all, okay? And y'all be careful on your temps and stuff. Um because that sauce will take another turn on you, okay? But what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take these out of here. So I can put the rest of them in there. And then we're gonna finish them off in the oven, okay, y'all? So that's all I'm gonna do. Y'all cook them on each side. Get your little sear from your grill mark seal on them. Like you got a grill, that's what you do. And then we're gonna finish these off in the uh, oven. And then. If you get a little dark chop on your meat, that's fine. Cause that goes to Jay sauce and everything, it will make it soft. Y'all see that? But that's just the ghost today sauce on there. Good, it's good, good flavor. Okay. We're gonna sit them to the side. I'm gonna put the rest of them back in, put the rest of them on here. And then we're gonna put them in the oven and let them finish slow cooking, okay? We'll be back with you. Okay, y'all. Y'all see how I'm browned all these on this grill skillet here. These are my Korean soul food ribbons, y'all. I had to add that soul food in, baby, because you know I had to add that tone to put my own little twist on here. So this is my version of my Korean infused soul food rib tips. No, riblets. Sorry. But um, I'm going to turn these off on top of the stove because I want them to finish slow cooking in the oven. So they can get tender for me. I just wanted to put some grill marks on them through my pan, y'all. You feel me? You heard me? Y'all see that? Looking all suckling and good. Y'all see that? So we're gonna finish this off in the oven, y'all. Yes. And I got the oven on 375. 375, and we're gonna bake these for probably about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, y'all, we're gonna put this in the oven. So they can fall off that bone, baby. Yes! Wait a minute. Wipe around my own thing. Okay. And y'all know this is Labor Day, so we got the Korean style uh, infused soul food rib riblets, right? But I got some lima beans and pigtails and Neck bones over here going, y'all. Come, come get it now. Cause I wanted some lima beans, y'all. So we got that going right there. This one of our side items, and we got some collets over there with some uh, fat back in them going, and I'm and some bacon grease to make them greasy greens, baby. And I'm also mix some kale up in that when that cook down a little bit. But let's go on and put these all uh, rib ribbits in the oven. And we'll be back with y'all. This cooking with tip on Leah Love page, baby. Like, comment, and subscribe. Also, you gotta follow my page, Cooking with Tip, today, cause we also got some store, some stuffed pork roasts that I'ma cook my versions of mine, and my chef Lily cooking in the hood gonna cook her version. Come on over here and say hey, y'all. Uh, uh, chef Lily, let them know we're doing two uh stuffed pork roasts. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Roses. Oh, I gotta get by the light, huh? That's like that stove. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I miss y'all out there, but I'm coming back. Y'all, I'm gonna do my half of this pork roast, my version. She said she's doing her. You told me what you put in your oven? No, I ain't telling you. You gotta watch oh, for that. Oh, okay. You gotta watch for it. 
So, but I'm just saying, hey, love y'all. And we'll be back with you when these ribs done. Boom! Hey, y'all, I'm back. Now, we done cooked these uh, Korean slash soul food riblets in the oven for, what, 45 minutes an hour? Yeah. And they is ready, y'all. This is the finishing product on them ribs, y'all. Okay? When I tell y'all they something good, y'all better try it. Y'all better follow little love page and try this here, y'all. Y'all see how that look? Y'all see them. And see, they darken and caramelize because of the goat drain sauce and everything we put on them. Did y'all see that? Look at it. It ain't hot. Come on, y'all see that? They tell the two. Tell them what to be by. Let me taste a little piece too. Hit that. Lady. I can't. Mm. Mm. Shit. Spill me. Very good. I. Mm. Let me get my little piece. Y'all, they tender. They flavorful. They got their Korean taste to it. And got a little kick from that toast, y'all. Got that soul food pot off in now. But again, these are the Korean style riblets for my baby. And y'all also check out cooking with Tupple a Ladle with me and Chef Lily cooking in the hood. Hey. Y'all um, <laughs> see this back here? You can zoom in. We're gonna, right. stuff, we're gonna stuff our pork roasts the way I want mine and the way she wants your hers. And we're gonna take it from there, y'all. So it's been real. It's been fun. Once again, our day is gone. Done, I'm sorry. Oh, and when we get done with all the cooking, y'all check out that monk man coming later. Cause baby, we got them collard greens, them llama beans, that rice, baby. And I forgot to get cornbread, so I gotta find some cornmeal or something. Getting some bread off it now. But we'll holler. Doom.